This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. Peace, family. So, yesterday marked the 24 year anniversary of Soldier Slim's Give It To Him Raw album. So, we definitely want to say rest in peace to Soldier Slim. And this album was smoking right out the gate. And it did exactly what Slim intended to do. He always said he wanted to hit no limit like pocket death row. And I think for all the riders and the real ones out there who understand that terminology, they would agree that he did just that. So Give It To A Real was a debut album by Soldier Slim released on May 19th, 1998. Unknown Limit Records and Priority Records. And it's widely considered to be a one of No Limit's greatest albums and one of Soldier Slim's best albums. So the album was a major success, debuting at number 13 on the Billboard 200, and it also debuted at number four on the top R&B, hip hop and album charts, and was very soon certified gold. So the album itself did some good strong numbers in its first week of sale, moving 32,000 copies in the US. And at the time, Soldier Slim was serving time in prison as a result of a violation for his probation. And this was reportedly shortly after the release of the album. So we didn't get to celebrate the release on the outside, but the album eventually hit 500,000 copies in 1998 to receive its gold certification. So the album, I'm sure a lot of people will be familiar with the title single from what I was told, which also featured a video of Soldier Slim done in full camouflage and representing was definitely a strong song. Now, I think some people may debate whether it should have been a single, but I think it was definitely a strong release that helped signify the soldier life mentality that Slim was about. So with an array of smoking tracks and productions by Beats by the Pound, the album definitely kicked off heavy and was one that Slim fans would remember, and it would set the tone for No Limit going forward. Street Life, one of my favorite tracks produced by DJ Darrow. Definitely a solid track on the album. If you know about the Street Life, you're gonna feel this one. And if you don't, you will definitely learn a lot by listening to these guys and what they display. Track number three, Write Me, another tight track, Slim rapping about the jail time, Jolson, and some of the situations within that, dealing with females. Number four, at the same time, featuring Snoop Dogg, Another tight track produced by KLC. Both guys representing the label saying they hit no limit at the same time. Number five, one of my favorite tracks, Only Real Niggas Slim, absolutely kill it. If you used to that raw, rugged, got a slim, you gotta like that one. Number six, Pray For Your Baby, featuring Master P and Trey Nitty. I think that track was tight too. Headbuster, another tight one featuring Big Ed and Mr. Servan. Me and My Cousin featuring Full Bloody, number eight, solid track. So I ain't going to go down the complete playlist, but I want to say that this album was filled with bangers, notable tracks, track 12, Imagine, featuring C Murder and Mac, which has went on to be remixed a few times over the years. Track number 40, Wode, another solid track. Get High With Me, featuring Mystical and Trey Nitty on 15. What's Up, What's Happening, number 17, Huston Is A Habit, number 18, featuring Steady Mobbing. So as I said, I wasn't gonna list all the tracks, but there's so much kind of not to name. The album was so smoking. The last two tracks, Getting Real featuring Silk the Shaka, Fiend of Full Blooded, another solid No Limit track. And to end it off nicely was the No Limit Party, featuring the who's who from the roster, including Master P, Silk the Shaka, Full Blooded, Gambino Family, Prime Suspect, Mac, Kane and Abel, Magic, and Snoop Dogg. So we definitely wanna say this was a hot album. Salute to Soldier Slim, rest in peace. Great to hear that he will be finally getting an episode on Hip Hop Homicide soon, as reported by his sister. So the No Limit stable will continue releasing, with Soldier Slim releasing his last No Limit album, The Streets Made Me, years later in 2001. So let us know your thoughts in the comments, what you thought of this album, some of your best tracks out there, and bump some Soldier Slim this weekend. So this one goes out to all our peeps out there. Back the online is your hookup. Holla if you hear me.